Hi, I'm just north of Pattaya Beach, where Bull Cow and I, my girlfriend and I, come, this is the fourth time, we come every year now for the last four years, on kind of a family holiday. And it's something that we both look forward to. Now, it's not because of the beach. Actually, the beach is not that impressive. There are all of these uh, barriers out there. The water, while looks acceptable, isn't, you know, the most inviting beach I've ever seen. And it's crowded with concessions and motorboats towing people around, constant noise and music. It's not the most attractive place. We came because four years ago we discovered this row of townhouses, all of which are for rent. I originally found them on Airbnb. Now we get them actually whose uh, 18-year-old daughter made the arrangements this time. I don't even know how she did it through the Thai-speaking internet. <laughs> And yeah, we come we come here annually now because these are a great deal. It's a it's a great big three-story townhouse. Plenty of room for everybody. Karaoke machine. And the family is arriving. We have a backyard pool. The real value that I got out of today, other than the trip down to here to near near Patia, is a uh, a less not a lesson so much because I already knew it, but a, a reinforcement of two values that that are very important, especially if you're living in a culture other than your own. Uh, one of, uh, of tolerance and patience. When I got up this morning, I was excited and looking forward to the day. And when Buak, my girlfriend, got up, she was in a really bad mood, which is very uncharacteristic for her. She's a very happy person, generally. It's like her default state is to be kind of cheerful. And she was not. She was, she was quiet. She was sullen. She was kind of ignoring me. And it took a little doing for me to get out of her what was going on. But what had happened, she had had a bad dream. <laughs> And what the bad dream was about was that I was consorting with her sister. It's not an altogether unattractive idea, but it's not something that I would do. Uh, that would destroy my very happy household, for one, and I'm really not interested in her. But she thinks I am, I guess, and, you know, that's what the dream was about. And... Um, what happened for me in that moment, you know, especially, you know, looking forward to this day and looking forward to having a good day, was the thought that happened for me that I never voiced was, boy, how it's just a dream. It's not real. Don't worry about it. I didn't say that. Because there's something going on within her Siamese psyche that I don't understand. What she did say to me is, I'm going to proc an own. <laughs> I smiled. I knew right away what was going on. I said, say hello to Maynock. Boo didn't smile, she just left. Who Maynock is, is a ghost. It's a ghost story, it's one of the best known ghost stories here in Thailand. Maynock was a young woman back in the 1800s who uh, lived on the Prakanon Canal near Wat Mahabit, near the temple. And uh, her husband, who she adored, they adored each other. It was a wonderful thing and May was uh, pregnant. But Mock was conscripted to go fight for the Siamese army. And while he was away, May died in childbirth. But when Mock got back from, from his battles, there was May Nock and the baby and they, he was home and living very happily. You see, he was living with a ghost. Now that story doesn't end well. I'm not gonna tell you the whole story here. It's a long story, but you can Google it if you're interested. The spirit of Maynock still inhabits Wat Mahabit and the surrounding area of the Prakanon Canal. And Maynock has become a symbol for transcendent love. And that's where Buakau was going. She's, uh, she's a Buddhist. She's from, you know, the country, up country Thailand. And again, while there's this superficial veneer of rationality and intelligence, underneath is a lot of uh, what we Westerners might consider superstition. And she went to the Wat and made merit. She bought some little fish in a plastic bag and released them into, into the Prakanon Canal, which is a symbol of something that I don't frankly understand. But by the time I saw Bua Cow again, I guess about 90 minutes later, she had come home, taken a shower, 
did her hair, put on makeup, put on a mini skirt and a push up red bustier. <laughs> That's what you got from May Knock. I guess it's a go take care of your man or something like that. As I alluded to earlier in the video, I like May Knock. <laughs> so yeah, patience and tolerance. It's something I've gotten a lot better at living here in Thailand. You know, and especially with the Thai people recognizing that I don't understand. You know, they have different software than us Westerners. So I've learned to become patient with it. And it was a good idea because, you know, based on the results, we're having a good day. Thanks for watching. See you soon. And an important lesson here. These, uh, let's see, three, four, five dogs were just fighting. <laughs> By the time I got my video camera out, they're like, wait a minute, let's stop fighting and pay attention to this guy who's pointing the camera at us. Yeah, I guess there's a lesson in that, you know? <laughs>